Hi friends, I'm Tom Hogue with Self Defense For You, and this is your tip of the week. All right, parents, I'm talking to you. We're going to be talking about the benefits of martial arts. I'm gonna choose five of them today to talk about it, and we're gonna go over them. So let's start out with the number one in my school. I have several rules. The number one rule in my school is respect. Showing respect to who? To uh, parents, grandparents, teachers, other authority figures, to yourself. So when I'm talking to children, they know the number one rule is respect. Uh, number two thing we would talk about today is self-discipline. Three is confidence. Four is focus. And the last is self-defense. But I want to start with the number one, which is respect. So in my school, every month, all the children test. And we have what's called a respect report. So they'll come in, their parents, you, will fill out their respect reports on how they acted for the whole month. And here are some of the things that they cover. I'll just show it to you real quick, then I'll go over it. So this is our respect report. And the things we cover, number one is minding parents. We have a grading scale. A five is like an A in school. A four is a B. A three is a C. A two is a D. And a one is an F. If you get two twos on your respect report, you do not pass your karate test. If you get one one, you automatically do not pass your test. So the first thing on the list is minding parents or listening and obeying parents. And a, a lot of times when students are newer, they get a three. Three is a C and that's average. And I usually like to talk to the child and say, are you an average person? And they're like, no, sir, I'm not. I'm like, good, you're not. So should you show your parents average? No, sir. And then we have minding other authority figures. A lot of times <laughs> that's a little bit higher than their parents than I talk to them. So you're showing more respect to your karate instructor, to your teacher at school, to uh, other authority figures, but not your mom and dad. Well, mom and dad, they're the ones that provide food, clothing, shelter, toys, all your stuff. I don't give you any of that stuff. So why don't you show them more respect? And that's our goal is to help them move that level from a, a C to a B to an A. Uh, the next one is, is proper responses. In our school, we talk about respect. It's always yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. Never uh-huh, or yeah, or whatever, or roll your eyes. Uh, with the children, I sometimes play a game and say, all right, if you say the Y word, which is yeah, it's 10 push-ups. But if you hear me say the Y word, you can ask me nicely, and I'll do 10 push-ups. So we're trying to spread respect wherever we go and how we talk. The next is respectful to brother and sister. Now, on this respect report, that is the probably one that is always consistently low when they have brothers and sisters. But it's usually a C level, and I'm starting to see some good uh, progression up to a B with a lot of our students. Uh, next is respectful at school, how they're talking to their teachers, how they're acting. And parents, if you homeschool your children, you're the teacher. So usually that score is the same as binding parents. We need to make sure that's a higher level. Uh, respectful to friends. How do they treat their friends when they're outside playing, or if they're in the house playing, or if you see them in public uh, and doing things? How do they treat their friends? Next is respectful to property. Do they leave their toys, their bike, their books, whatever they have? Do they leave it just laying all over the place, or do they put it back where it belongs? So everything has its place. Next is respectful to self, meaning in diet, rest, and exercise. Are your children eating the vegetables that you're giving, or are they complaining? So parents, if they don't want to eat the food that you prepared, and like, oh, mom, I want something different. I want cheeseburgers. Well, today we're having spaghetti, and we're going to have vegetables, and this is what we're eating today. Parents, they should eat what you give them. Uh, are they going to bed on time? Do they fight you all the time to get their rest? Well, that's part of their respect report. And exercise. Are they getting plenty of exercise uh, each day? The next one is truthful and honest. Do they tell a lie or are they telling truthful and honest? The next is abide by house rules. And I have in parentheses cleaning a room. I will actually tell a child if they're a higher level or their older child and they get a three consistently, I will say, I cannot pass you on your test until... I get a picture of your room that it's clean. So parents, send me a picture of your child's room messy. Then send me an hour later or two hours later a picture of their room clean. 
And then, yes, you will pass your uh, respect report and pass your karate test. <clears throat> the next is taking responsibility for your own actions. Uh, a lot of kids with brothers and sisters love to point the finger and go, Johnny did it. Just take responsibility. So we teach our children, you know what? You made the mistake. Just own up to it, and things will th they'll get better from there. If you tell a lie, things get worse from there. And the last one on this is setting a proper example for others. Uh, being a leader, that's what martial arts, we're trying to teach children to be leaders. Set the example for others in class. Set example for your brothers and sisters. Set example for your friends at school. So the, this is our respect report, and I believe this will help children uh, show more respect at home, at school, and wherever they go. Then we have self-discipline. Uh, children need to know the difference between discipline and self-discipline. Discipline is what they get for not following the rules. Self-discipline is what they do to not get disciplined or get in trouble. And then children start seeing the difference. Well, I'd rather not get in trouble, so I'm going to try to do this. Confidence. Confidence is a big one. There are a lot of children in this country right now that have low self-esteem, don't have confidence in their self. So through martial arts, through fun activities, through the kicking and the punching and the games and the things that we do, we try to build their confidence and I help them come out on testing day and I make them sometimes do their form by themselves. For me as a kid who had a self-confidence problem, I was scared to go to the front of the room and do a problem or answer a question to raise my hand. And I was scared to death to do that. Now, when I know an answer, I'm not scared to raise my hand to answer it. Even if I, I could be wrong, I'm excited to say, hey, I think I, I got this one. So confidence is really, really important. And martial arts really helps drive that forward. Uh, focus. We really talk about focus and we work on focusing. Attention stance is where our children stand still with their feet together, their hands at their side, looking straight forward and not moving. And I'll walk around the room to make sure they're looking straight ahead and focused just on listening to my voice. You don't have to see me, but you have to hear me and focus on my directions. A lot this month we talked about following directions. Are you focused on the third and the fourth direction that I gave you, not just the first one? And last but not least is self-defense. We also have to teach our children how to defend themselves against bullies, uh, children against strangers. Now, this does not mean kicking and punching all the time, parents. Self-defense is using your mind and learning how to get out of a situation without violence, without kicking or punching. Running away is always number one. But how to, to see a situation and deal with it, that's self-defense. If someone grabs you, how to deal with it without using violence. If a stranger does pick you up, how to actually drop an adult or make them let go of you uh, through self-defense. And that's through some dangerous things that we have to teach the children. But then we teach them how to have self-discipline and not use it on anyone else. Um, also, self-defense is more than kicking and punching. There are still many people in the world, when they hear karate or martial arts or whatever it is, they're like, oh, that just teaches my kid to, to beat other kids up. That's the last thing that I want people to use is the kicking and punching part of self-defense. To me, martial arts and self-defense is my vehicle to help children become better people in the community and when they grow up to have the good morals and focus to live their lives. So parents, I am the backup parent. I'm here to help you with your child. I'm not here to teach your child to be Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee. Is it cool when they can do it? Yes, it is. But to me, martial arts is my vehicle of helping people become better in their lives. So that is our focus today on the benefits of martial arts. Uh, if you ever have any questions about martial arts or the benefits or how I can help, please give me a call. Um, if you liked what I talked about today, please like this and share it on Facebook with your friends. And uh, if you ever have any questions, call me at 817-203-4225. I'm Tom Hogue with Self-Defense for You, and this is your tip of the week.